Hey everyone, today we're going to be seeing if I can pull apart the Magdeburg hemispheres. What I have here are some pretty heavy duty hemispheres. You can see that there's no way that they screw together. They kind of just fit together like this. They're notched right here and they have some grease on them. So the grease helps it to get a good seal. It takes virtually no force to pull them apart like this. But notice that I have a little valve right here in which I can suck the air out of the hemispheres. So that when I squish them together like this, you can actually pull air out from right here and then close the valve. Now watch this, so I'll stick the hemispheres together. Now I'm just gonna use my mouth to suck out the air inside of there. Okay, and then I close the valve. So now inside I have a pretty good vacuum. Now let's try to pull them apart. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm afraid if I try too hard, <laughs> it's gonna shoot back and hit me in the face. These are a big hunk of steel. I'm gonna end up hurting myself somehow. I thought I'd be able to do it with just my mouth sucking it out, but I guess not. Let me get some better leverage. Oh, there we go. Just get a little bit of leverage and I can do it. So the reason that I wasn't able to pull these apart very easily when I sucked the air out of the middle is because of the atmosphere around me. The atmosphere has around 14 pounds per square inch of pressure pushing on everything. So if you suck out the air in the middle, that means it's pushing with all that force on both sides of the hemispheres, holding it together. With the size of the hemispheres here and the cross-sectional area, for this one it's just over 100 pounds of force holding it together. We sometimes forget about the enormous amount of pressure that the atmosphere is always forcing upon us. But you can see it very vividly if you boil some water in a tin can and then turn it upside down in some cold water and it suddenly condenses the water vapor in there so there's a great vacuum Whoa. <laughs> and the atmosphere will just crush it. You can even do this to a giant 55 gallon steel drum. In fact, this can even happen to giant tank cars if you allow a vacuum to occur inside of it. So let's try to figure out an easier way to pull our hemispheres apart. Well, remember we said that it's the atmosphere pushing them together, so let's just remove the atmosphere from around them. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna stick them in the vacuum chamber. Okay, first let's get these sealed shut. Okay, that is locked on there. Oh, it already fell off. <laughs> so we were able to pull the Magdeburg spheres apart using a vacuum chamber. It seems a vacuum chamber solves all of life's problems. 